So, yes, spoiler alert, containers will not, in fact, fix your, fix your broken culture. Uh, the Cloudy with a Chance of DevOps um, describes this scene in Minneapolis, Minnesota, where my partner Joe and I live. Uh, apparently, besides being the land of 10,000 lakes, Minnesota is also the land of 10,000 DevOps cliches in that we have containers and silos and cloud and uh, the slow burning tire fire that's prod is somewhere there behind my Twitter handle. I also feel like Cloudy with a Chance of DevOps describes the way a lot of organizations are trying to bolt some magical thinking onto how they're going to fix problems inside their org. Um, because if you think about it, like, you're not going to get DevOps in a box. I mean, we, we all pretty much agree with that. But you're also not going to get it in a shipping container. Like, unless there were announcements from DockerCon that I missed in all the velocity excitement, like, you probably aren't going to get 20 units of DevOps just because you have containers. And I think this, this is not just theoretical for me. I mean, I have actually run Docker in production. Uh, before I came to Pivotal, my last gig was working at a little streaming video site that was much like Netflix, if Netflix were much smaller and mostly Korean soap opera, and ran Docker in production through the entire request path, which I know they're starting to do in some places. And uh, more importantly, this organization actually started running Docker and Prod in October 2013, when the main thing on Docker's website, I think, was like large letters, possibly in Blink, saying, under no circumstances should you run this in production. And they were like, YOLO. And that's honestly that's part of why I went to go work there, because, hey, organizations that aren't afraid of things, you're going to have fun. But it also means that even though we were doing stuff, you know, technically that was fun and probably right by some, you know, definition of right, that doesn't change the fact that, as it turns out, I found myself at an, an, or, at an organization um, staffed entirely and run entirely by humans, I know. And so we still had the kinds of conflicts that all humans have inside their organizations. We still had handoffs. Um, they might have been containerized, but we still had handoffs between teams. Uh, I feel like the, the classic wall of confusion here, and we'll, we'll talk more about the origins of that later, but the classic wall of confusion is, the way I see it is a little bit more like this. Uh, when the incentives in your organization are set up such that some people are incented to ship new features and ignore absolutely every bug that makes it into the backlog or icebox, and someone else in the organization is incented by MTTRs and SLAs and a whole bunch of other acronyms, you're going to get conflict because everybody isn't aligned towards the same goals, focused on the goals of the business. And this is like, again, that communication breakdown stuff that happens in organizations full of humans.